What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got a double unboxing for you today from Monster Bass. We have both the November regional bag as well as the ice box. That's right, there's still a box for certain limited release baits. They've been sending out the box still. So this is the ice box for November. It's only gonna drop for another three months. It ends in February. So this is one of four limited release boxes that's gonna help us stock up for the hard water season. I'm excited for it, and I'm excited to share with you guys what lures are inside. So let's get right into it. Of course, if you guys do like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff helps us out a lot. I'm gonna start with the ice box, then I'll get to you regional folks here in just a second. By the way, this is for the Midwest Great Lakes region, but you're gonna see some similar baits, especially with the featured ones, in the southern regions, northeast, northwest, etc., as well. You're just not gonna get that ice box down south, that's all. All right, so in the ice box, similar to the regional boxes, it's about the same price too, you're going to get about eight or so baits. And they're gonna vary from like spoons to jigs to plastics, there's all sorts of different stuff in here, great variety. So I'm gonna speed through them for you guys. Number one, off the top, we got a real classic. This is a Lindy Glow Spoon. This spoon comes in a pink, blue, and silver color, which I'm kind of digging, so they call that the rainbow. And it comes with little glow sticks. That's right, you just remove, crack, it's like your standard glow stick, and then you shove it up inside. You see that little hole right there? This comes with a special tool, this right here, that helps you pop that out. So right off the back here, you can see that spot. That's your indentation for your glow stick. So you take your little tiny glow stick, give it a crack, We'll shake, let it charge up for a second. It's gonna be mixing, ooh. And we're gonna stick that glow stick into the back of the spoon. You can see that right there. When we wanna swap that out, because glow sticks don't last forever, it comes with this little Lindy tool, and you just push that right into the hole, and it brings out your little glow stick. And that is what you end up with. So it literally glows, check that out. That is sweet. So it's gonna give off this like crazy different look under the ice. Now, if you got like snowpack and you're fishing deeper, like it can get pretty dark under the ice. So having something like this with this light flash, uh, bringing an artificial light flash into play can definitely trigger some bites. I think that looks cool as heck. Also, it's creepy and dark in here. Let's turn the lights back on. Yeah, and we're back. So Lindy Glow Spoon, I like this. Last year, I actually got like an upsized version of this. This is a much more appropriate size, I think, uh, for the fish that I'm targeting under the ice. So I'm excited for that one. I gotta hit this one up next. I posted this on Instagram. I got a ton of questions, like lots of traction on this, a picture of this particular lure, because uh, it's pretty crazy. So this is called the Rota Grub, and it is a up and down action right? A little jigging action. It's by Patrick Siebel, Sibyle, I don't know, Creations. Um, you can check out the website if you want to see more. Uh, weight for this one is three-eighths of an ounce. Here's the bait. Two jigs, two ball head jigs, welded together. Look at that. That's crazy. Like, they're not moving. See? And it comes with this little snap clip up on top, right? That's where you're going to tie on. And the idea behind this, you can see the, the hooks are offset as well, is you thread on a, a nice little grub, curly tail grub, mine's ripped. I already fished this, by the way. I tried this thing out so I can give you a little idea about the action. The idea with this is to vertically jig it, which is what you do with most ice fishing rigs. So we drop our line down, it's three eighths of an ounce, it's gonna plummet. And then once we get down, we're gonna lift that up. And every time you drop it, it actually does this does a little waltz, a little dance for the fishies on the way down. But there you go, so this is a pretty cool rig. It you know, does a little spin on the way down. I don't know how it's gonna work. I do know that these like chartreuse, uh, whatever color you, know, you wanna call this, but it's like chartreuse with black flake. I know that this underwater basically glows in the dark, like it's insane, it just pops. So I'm interested, and then we could try maybe some different colored grubs too. Try some different stuff. Interesting bait, the Rota Grub. Okay, got this one last year, still don't know what the heck to do with this, but it's the Looter Lure, which is supposed to be like a local Michigan thing. Um, you can see that there's a lake trout on here, on, on the cover. So maybe it's more specific for, you know, lake trout, right? 
And I've seen these uh, vertically jigged. I've seen these because I looked up videos. I mean, I haven't used it uh, in the right way, I don't think. Um, seen it trolled. I've seen it used a whole bunch of different ways, but my thought would be maybe we go after like some lake trout and see if it works better. It's got this little like film piece here that as light goes through it should act almost like a prism and sort of put off, you know, see the rainbow here, put off, uh, uh, they're calling it a uh, fiber optic, right? So put off this like rainbow of color that I guess attracts the fishies. No idea. I mean, it's not, it's a bit heavier than the one I got last year. It's, uh, it's definitely unique. Still no idea what to do with it. Probably throw a snap clip or a split ring up on top here to tie on to. And then you got like this little feather treble coming off the back. That's pretty cool. It's an interesting bait nonetheless. And one that I will try a bunch of different ways this ice season and see if I catch anything. Then we get to the straight classics, the Blitz Blade. This one comes in a good size, I think. It's a quarter ounce gold flash. So you got the flashy sticker there, right? The weight on these blade baits is up in front. So they kind of take a nosedive like this. And then when you rip them up because of its flat body, it's gonna vibe on the way up. Kind of like a lipless, little different action. And they come with VMC hooks. So they are stocked up, ready to rock. These things are sweet. If you're fishing liplesses right now, as it gets colder, you can switch to these and you'll bang them out, I promise. All right, another staple you're gonna see with ice fishing, jigs, plastics, all day long. So we've got uh, one of my favorite companies of jigs here, Widowmaker. I think they make some awesome stuff. These are a size 12 jig in tungsten. They tiny, check this out. This is why we use like micro jig boxes for ice fishing, look at this. So that's a 12, super tiny. You can see very small, even on my thumb there, in gold. And it's got the wax worm profile, little waxy profile there. So that is cool. And then we'll use that by threading on one of these plastics. The cool thing about this is I've caught fish on these already this year. That's right, I took it right out of the box. I went to hit the water. We did some ultralight pan fishing and I rigged these up and the fish are eating them already. So I know they're gonna eat them through the ice and these things are fantastic. So let's take a look at them. Got three different plastics here. Ice plastics come in a pretty high quantity. So you get 10 in the big bite baits, but you normally get like 12, 16, 18, 20 sometimes in other plastics. This one from Big Bites is pretty funky looking. So you got the pink, great color, especially for crappie and perch. And you got a little dangly tail there with a little ball on the end and a couple balls up there. So it's gonna look like a bunched up bait. It's called the One Inch Balls. That's her name. So there you go. That one's solid. Caught me a few fish this week. You guys will see that fishing video on Friday. Next up is the one I thought looked the best in the water and what I'm gonna pair up with this jig that we just got. So that's the Bass Reaper in orange, it's a nice little tickle tail, they call it the spike, and you get 20 in this pack. They're super trim, which is why you need to use them on a much smaller size jig. So when I rig it up on that Widowmaker jig, it's gonna look like that. Absolutely juicy. If I'm getting short struck, I can just trim the top part of this because I want the tapered tail. So I'll probably take this off and then trim the thicker plastic section there, thread it back on so I still get that tickle tail effect. That is awesome. That's gonna trigger some bites for sure. And we've got another pretty staple ice fishing brand. Although I promise you guys, I'm gonna get mule fishing out on the ice. Euro Tackle, another solid, like they, they kind of specialize with these microplastics. This one is called the Blood Worm, another one inch bait. Comes in a 10 pack, I already used a bunch. Caught fish on it. It didn't look pretty, you'll see in the video. So it actually comes on like a poured mold. Like they just broke off sections of these molds. Probably just to help keep the plastic shape in the packaging. So let's go ahead and try and thread one of these on. These ones are super thin. Boom, that one looks actually really juicy too. Kind of a different profile, looks like a bug. And I mean, that's what these fish are feeding on. So the cool thing about this is it's segmented. So it's really easy to break it down, make it much shorter. Uh, tight to the jig if, again, you're getting just nibbled on, short struck, and you're not landing any fish through the ice, we can change it up that way. All right, that's it for ice fishing. Let's get to the regional bag. So again, this is for November for the Great Lakes Midwest region. And right off the bat, we got a banger, the Seeker 8. So last month we got the Seeker 6, shallow diving. Now we're going deeper as bass start to move deeper as the weather gets cold, the water gets colder. 
we got this guy to help us search. It's called the Seeker for a reason. Crankbait fishing is a great way to be searching around cover, looking for those bass, trying to figure out if they're suspending, pinned to the bottom, or if they're you know sitting up higher. With this one, you can run it shallow if you run it slow or on a shorter leader. If you run it on full fluorocarbon and a little bit faster, you can run it deeper. So solid bait to be searching that water column with, I think it's one that you can really get the job done. And it's a decent color. I mean, it's a, it's called green sexy, sort of a greener version of a sexy shad. I like that model a lot. You can see with that lip, tight tapered lip, tighter wobble, it's gonna have a different action than most of your crankbaits. Next up is probably my favorite in the bag. This is a Z63 lipless from Arc. It's got this holographic bluegill finish to it. Look at the blue hue here up on the front. I like the touch of the eyes being the A from Arc. That's their logo. And if you guys notice, there's a couple scratches on here because I fed this to a pike first cast. Um, so I can tell you, can confirm catches fish. Uh, I dig this bait a lot. It's got a unique shape to it with this curve. And this flat section up here really helps with the vibe, so it's got awesome action. All I was doing is bombing it out there, big long cast, and then doing the yo-yo retrieve. So you lift all the way up, it vibes hard on the way up, you get that tinny rattle, and then you let it fall so it looks like a dying bait fish, and that's when I got smacked by a pike. It was pretty awesome. Uh, great bait, fun to fish, highly recommend liplesses this time of year. You can get it done. Another thing I recommend would be silent square bills, just like this one right here. So this is a KVD 1.5 from Strike King, absolute classic square bill. Uh, we had Tackle Junkie on the show a ways back, and if you guys remember, Tackle Junkie had a wall of KVD 1.5 square bills. So uh, yeah, it's a solid square bill, it gets the job done. Tackle Junkie fishers it, I think it's good enough for the rest of us. See right there, we got the nice tight square lip, so it's gonna have just that classic square bill action, nice and wobbly. And this is one where, because it's silent, you wanna be making sure that you're deflecting off of cover. That's the whole idea. We don't need that extra sound. We're just gonna bang this around whatever cover we can find. You got rocks, you got trees, you got branches, you got whatever, lay downs, rip wrap, all that stuff. Work it through there. And because of this craw pattern to it, this blood red belly and that green upper body there, it's gonna get bit. It just straight works, people. Okay, this next one, I'm still on the fence about. Very interesting bait. It's from Rick Clun, okay? You can see, I already added a trailer hook to it. I already fished this thing for a bit. This is our spinner bait. Now, white chartreuse, come on, bro. You can't go wrong with that, absolutely. You got the red eyes. Nice jig head shape to it, tapered, gets through cover really well, can confirm. I've fished this already. And it's got the little double bend in the wire there, which is interesting. Keeps your blades from moving around too much, so they got a nice tight spin. And it's got these unique blades to it. Not a Colorado, not a Willow, just kind of a hybrid blade. One silver, smaller size, one gold, bigger size. I wasn't sure how they were gonna behave in the water. Probably cast this thing about a dozen or so times, and here's what I learned. These blades have an absolute heavy thump. This thing feels crazy as you're retrieving it. I'd have, I had it on a pretty sensitive rod. It's a Lou's Custom Speed Stick, made for spinnerbait and chatterbait fishing. And as I was doing that retrieve, like I was just feeling this thing brrr, vibing like a motorboat. It's pretty crazy. It's also pretty heavy, it's three quarters of an ounce. And then it has this doubled over skirt with a wire tie to it. So I think it's made really well. I like it. I wanna love it, but I need it to catch some fish. So interesting spinnerbait. Not mad at all by getting it. I'm excited to put it to the test a little bit longer, whatever time I have this season, and see what we can do. P.S. It's called the Trickster, and that is on the blades here. There's also, I don't know if you can see that, there's a gosh dang wolf howling at a moon on there. I didn't notice that until just this moment, and now I love this bait even more. All right, we also got plastics and hooks. So if you guys didn't know this, Monster Bass is making hooks. Here's some EWGs. These are called the Sabertooth series hooks. We have Sabertooth EWGs. We've got Tokyo rigs. We've got the Sabertooth EWG Ned, which is my personal favorite. These ones are nice as like a shorter shank in a three aught. So this is a pretty good finesse EWG, which might go with some of the plastics that we got. First up, one that I have gotten before. I think it's a decent bait. Um, so these are the Thunderhawk Camel Cross which would make a fine pairing with this EWG. We could go ahead and just Texas rig this. 
We could Carolina rig it this time of year would be actually really good. And then this one comes in a smoke color, they call it. So this is pretty cool, like semi-translucent gray with red and green flake in it. It pops. It's got nice rib section here, lots of appendages, and a little flap on the claw there, which is nice. So you're going to get a ton of action out of this. Also, pretty durable. Then we got this Deep Creek Super Razor Beetle 5 count. These are among the heftiest beaver style baits I have ever seen. Like, look at this thing. Just super thick. Feels pretty durable. You've got extra flaps down here at the bottom. You break this bottom part apart there, and we've got just four honking flaps going crazy. It's gonna have a ton of action. This one would be awesome on that Sabertooth Tokyo rig. I like that. And then of course, Carolina rig right now, or Texas rig, or flipping it, right? That thing is awesome. Look at all the appendages down the side. Crazy, black and blue flake on that one. Again, you get five um, Deep Creek, Decent durability, jury's out on like how well they catch fish so far for me. I'll see, I'll keep testing them. We got a Strike Classic here with the Fat Baby Finesse from Strike King KVD Perfect Plastics. Gotta love the Fat Baby Finesse. Awesome trick worm, shorter, more finesse for this time of year. And this one, one they're super salted. This one comes in a Fire Tiger color, check this out. So you got like this brown, oh my gosh, super duper salty. Brown and the bright green with that black flake in there. Great colorway, good durability. It's called the Fat Baby because of this section right here, that bulbous tail. These are awesome on a downsized shaky head. So downsized shaky head, jig, or just straight Texas rig, Carolina, or even weightless Texas, this thing. Last up, we got the Z-Man Finesse TRD Craws in green pumpkin. Perfect color for this time of year, nice and natural. And these work amazingly well on the Monster Bass Sabertooth EWG Ned. So all we do for EWG Neds is we just Texas rig. So we punch this in the tail, out the bottom. Z-Man Turd Cross do have a top. You can see the eyes there. Run it up, rotate it, let it sit against that hook. And then I like to just roll up the plastic a little bit and punch right through the middle. So it'll sit nice, even, and flat. These things bang, absolutely bang. This setup right here is one that I've caught, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of fish on, maybe not a thousand, but quite a few fishies, mostly smallmouth in the river. This is something I like to just drag around on the river or hit drift sections and I always get smoked. Finesse TRD craw, fantastic looking craw. Awesome little Ned package there. All right, that's it for the regional bag. We have the KVD Perfect Plastics Fat Baby Finesse, Thunderhawk Camel Craw, Z-Man Finesse TRD Craws, Deep Creek Lures Razor Beetle, Rick Clun Trickster, KVD 1.5 Square Bill, the Seeker 8 from Monster Bass, and the Arc Z63 Lipless, as well as all those ice fishing things. So there you go, you guys. That is what's coming from Monster Bass this month. If you guys want to pick up your own box for the ice fishing season, or if you want to pick up your regional bag, be sure to use our link in the description below. That helps support us a lot as a channel, and we appreciate you all for doing that. Oh, by the way, I never called this out throughout the episode, but you like the shirt? Well, Ned Rig nerds, we made these shirts for our Snorlax crew. If you want to learn about being a member, you can click the link below as well. We appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you guys like the content, be sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content. Appreciate y'all. And I hope to see you on one of our next live podcasts. We go live every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Love to talk to you and chat and see you there. Have a good day, y'all.